So we have this fluid problem where we have an open tank that is 4 meters long and 2 meters wide. This 2 meters is into the page and we also know that the tank is filled with two substances. One is a 2 meter layer of water and the other one is a 1 meter layer of oil. The question is asking us to find the resultant force on the right hand side of the tank acting from both fluids, the oil and the water and we are only given two pieces of information um, regarding the substances which is the density of oil 0 0.8 and the density of water 1 kilogram per meter cubed. So step one is to determine how many forces is acting on the wall. So in this case we have three forces. One is a triangular hydrostatic force, uh, hydrostatic pressure I mean, acting from the oil layer onto the wall. The second force is a rectangular hydrostatic pressure of acting from the oil onto the wall. And the third force is a triangular hydrostatic pressure acting from the wall la water layer onto the wall. I'll quickly draw these forces up so that you can see them visually. So as you can see, um, the red triangular hydrostatic force is from the oil. The orange one is the hydrostatic pressure also from the oil. This force is the oil layer acting over the water layer. Um, and the purple triangular hydrostatic pressure is created by the water. And to answer this question, the resultant force would simply be F1 plus F2 plus F3. And after finding the resultant force, we will locate the distance from the free surface that is acting on, on the wall by using moments. Okay, so to find the first force um, of this triangular section from the oil hydrostatic pressure, F1, it would be half the density of oil times gravity times H1. H1 is 1 meter. And remember, this hydrostatic pressure acts along the tank wall, and the tank wall is actually a 1 by 2. Um, remember, we said it was 2 meters into the page. So it will act over the area of the tank. So this would be half 0 0.8 times gravity 9.8 and we want to convert it to newtons so times 10 to the power of 3 times the depth or height h1 that is acting along the tank wall and multiply this by the area is acting on the tank so a 1 by 2 so if you work this out it comes up to 7.85 kilonewtons okay so for the second force, F2, we is still the force acting from the oil, so it would actually be, but since it's rectangular, it would just be rho oil times g times the height of the oil, and the area is a, uh, the area this rectangular this rectangular section is acting on is actually a, a two by two. So 0 0.8 times 9.8, again we want to convert it to Newton, so multiply by 10 to the power of 3 times H1 from the oil section, then it's acting on a 2 by 2 of the tank section, so 2 by 2. If you work this out, it becomes 31.39. Okay, so for the third force, F3, we'll write it here. So for the third force, it's a triangular section again from the water. It would be half rho water times g times this time is the second height because it's the, the water's depth. And this would be on a 2x2 two two section of the tank, 2 meters 
step and two minutes into the page. So we write this out, it would be half Row of water was one kilogram per meter cube, so one times nine point eight times ten to the three for the newtons times two meters for the H two and the area is a two by two. So this comes out to be thirty nine point two four kilonewtons. So to find the resultant force which is part of the question to find the resultant fluid force you would simply add up F1, F2 and F3 so resultant force equals to F1 plus F2 plus F3 which would be 7.85 plus F2 is 31.39 plus F3 is 39.24 so th this comes up to be 78.24 kilonewtons so this is FR it's the combination of all three forces but we don't know where it's located at um, to find its location we will be using moments um, based on a reference point O. Let's just write up our results up here. Um, so far we have F1 equals to 70.85 kilonewtons. So if we were to take moments about point O, we would have FR times some distance r from o would equal to f1 resultant times some distance d1 plus f2 resultant times some distance d2 plus f3 times some, some distance D3. So we know F1, F2, and F3. Now we have to find out D1, D2, and D3. D1 is simple enough. It would be, if you know the centroid of a triangle, the force would be acting two thirds um, below O. So this will be two thirds. The centroid of a triangle is two thirds um, from the small end. Uh, so D2 would be 1 meter plus the centroid of this rectangle which is 1 meter so it will be 1 plus 1 is 2 meters from O for point 3 D3 it would be 1 meter plus remember the centroid of a triangle is 2 thirds so it will be 1 meter plus 2 thirds of 2 which equals to 7, 3 meters from O. So now we have everything to work out, <coughs> excuse me, DR. So DR would be this, this whole section divided by FR. So it would be force one was 7.85. Times two thirds plus F2 31.39 times 2 meters plus F3 which is 39.24 times D3 7 thirds and you divide the whole thing by F resultant 78.24 this will give you the distance 2.033 the answer to the question is FR is 78.24 kilonewtons and the X um, 2.033 meters from 
Oh. 